Hello, everybody. Hello. I want to have my business universal and what it means, right? And the name of this approach is product for everybody. Why I came to this approach and started to search this idea is because uh, our founder, Mark Hughes, he used to say that there will come a day when this product will be in every home. It was his uh, vision, mission, and dream. And he was great visionary. And it was his, he actually asked us to put this incredible product in every home, right? So our job is to put this product in every home, not in every other home, but in every home. This is what it means. And I'm very, very straight with this statement. I really want to put this product in every home. I think it's worth this product worth to be in every home. And uh, this product benefits. We want everybody to enjoy these products and these products benefits and good health and right weight and so on, right? Agree with that so far? Yes. Yeah. So it's not me, it's Mark Hughes. He used to say it, and we just want to take this to, and make it reality. Okay, it used to be kind of a motto, but I don't want to be just motto. I want this to be reality. And I think we have all tools and all necessary business instruments and products and everything and technologies to, to, to make it uh, 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 real. So in order to be in every home, you need to be universally accepted, right? If you want to, be, to have your product in every home, you want this product to be accepted by everybody. Because if it's not accepted by everybody due to whatever reason, it will not be in every home. This is a very strong message to be in every home. This is a very big uh, and ambitious idea to be in every home. I don't know many products who are, which are in every home. Do you, are you aware of any product which is in every home? This is very rare product, right? The competition is very big in, 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 on the market in every field, right? There are a few products which are almost in every home. I'll give you a few uh, examples, and you will see that there are a few products. There are some products which are almost in every home, OK? I, I just want to share with you a few success stories and, uh, and to show you that some products are in every home. And that's why we will need to accept the same type of approach if we want to be in every home. You probably know the uh, two most famous operating systems in the world. One is developed by Apple, and another one developed by Microsoft Windows, right? They both started more or less the same time, right? And Steve Jobs wanted to have a really perfect operating system, and, he, uh, and I think he developed a very good product, right? More or less at the same start and the same uh, time, uh, Bill Gates started with his Windows, and I think he wanted to develop great product, and I think he did. Okay, but they had some different kind of approach. Steve Jobs and Apple they said we want to link our operating system to our computers. We will produce the best operating system and the best computers, right? And we will link them together. It will be one product. We will not let others to use our operating system, OK? Our operating system will, be only, will come only with our computers. And they did a great job, by the way. But Bill Gates said, I don't care about computers. I don't want to, be deal, I don't want to deal with computers, with hardware, OK? I want to give my software to everybody. And then he gave, if you remember, to IBM initially, and then it spread around. And then other companies started to accept his operating system. So his approach was kind of universal approach, not perfectionistic approach of Steve Jobs. He said, we will produce the best hardware and best software. And he did. I believe, and some of my friends believe that, that Macintosh is even better than Windows. OK, some believe. I, I don't have any, by the way, any judgment here. <laughs> But some people believe that this one is better. But what's happened is because this one had universal approach to the business, and he said, I want to be in every computer, OK? He ended up with Apple now in 5% of computers and Windows in 95% of all computers now. It means in every home, OK? And this was the difference between two approaches. One approach is a niche market, 
and another one is everybody. See the difference? So another example of universal approach with the uh, strong desire to be in every home, company called Google. You all know Google. People don't search information anymore. They Google information, all right? So um, everyone knows that you have this uh, little Google tab button in every browser today, right? And then you go, you press the button, and you make a search, right? And you come to the uh, home page of, of Google search engine. So what Google people uh, actually invented? What they said? They said, what is the main purpose of people while they enter this space called internet? What, what they need? What do they do? They play? No. They pay? No. They buy? No. They first, they search information. This is the main need, reason, right, for them to enter, to come to the internet, to search for the information. Then they will know what to do with the information. Some of them will buy, they sell, they, they learn, they send, receive. But first, they want to search. Okay, so And this is basic need. And they said, we want to be the best in this basic need. Okay, we want to supply the, ba the best search engine. And then everyone will search through us. And then we will catch the biggest stake in this business. And this is really big business. And that's why they became a $140 billion corporation, and they just started, if you know, right? Just a few years ago. They just started from scratch. I remember myself a few years ago, that friend of mine said, why do you still search in through this, but why don't you try Google? It was the first time I remember. It was very few years ago. And, and this is a $140 billion corporation. They just started. And this is amazing. They now control 70% of all searches in the internet or something like that, which means every home. OK? So um, by the way, they have many other products. You're aware of that, right? They have many, many products. So search is just basic one. They have lots of products. Starts from uh, Google Earth and up to YouTube. OK? Everything is Google. So, uh, But you don't see this here. You need to press the button more. Once you press the but this button, you get to their products. You see? Energy cellulose. Herbalife line. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. No, but these are they are different products. But if you want to get to these products, you first need to be to get their basic product. If basic product is not for everybody, those products don't 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 exist, right? You would never get to Google Earth without first getting to Google Search, right? And then you can, if you have a good basic product, then you can upgrade your customers to everything you want mm -hmm. if they stay with you. You remember, you need to be the best in basic, the best in universal. Once you are the best in universal, then you can upgrade. Because we in Herbalife, we have many, many, many products. And always the question always was, what is the basic? And many people argued, what is the basic? What kind of basic product we want to put everybody on? All right. Another industry. Uh, I would like to give you an example of a universal approach. Uh, are you familiar with this device? What is it? Uh, oh, you are very smart. And this one is what? Uh, and this one is what? And this one? And this one is what? And this one? What is it? What is it? So the question is, do we have so far any kind of product which can combine all those features? Do we? Yeah. Exactly. We, we have now, and nobody believed just 10 years ago that it's going to happen. All right, but it happened, actually. This kind of smartphone, or any smartphone today, actually have all those features, all right, and actually more than those features. All right, everything you want. And this is universal approach. Of course, people don't want to carry all those things. They want just to carry one device with everything inside. Once we have smartphone, people will go for smartphones. No doubts about it. Nobody will, will carry computers and cameras and things. If, if we have one good device, people will prefer this one. And then uh, our core product for many years was weight loss program. 
especially it was uh, very uh, uh, popular, popular and still popular in, in countries like America, right, where many people are overweight. And for them, this is basic need today, to lose weight. When we started, when I started 17 years ago, I remember it was around 25, 30% of people overweight. Today is around 70% of people are overweight here in the States. And other countries are just to, are about to follow. Or they follow, actually, right? They're just behind, like, five years, maybe. Okay, but they are now at 60% or maybe 55%. But they, they, they catch up. That's fine. So the fast food is coming everywhere. <laughs> we, we've built great business during all those years. Uh, Herbalife became a huge company, the leading nutritional uh, solution for many people, right? But still, I was uh, uh, looking for a solution which, is, which could come to every home and stay in every home, right? And I was looking for, for this kind of solution for many years. And weight loss was in many cases, in many cases, not in every case, but in many cases, it was temporary solution for people. Those who came to lose weight, they lost weight and gone. And then we lost customers. So what we want to achieve, we want to have, if we want to have this product in every home and keep it in every home, we want to have what we call customer retention, right? We want to have customers sticking to the company, to the product, and having them uh, around forever for a lifetime. This is what we want to achieve. The product, we want to have it in every home and keep it in every home. And I started to analyze whether weight loss program, our weight loss program, is uh, the one which can help us to stay in every home, right? So let's, let's try to think. So what we want, we want to create and retain customer base, right? And there are a few conditions when we look at this uh, from the uh, weight loss perspective. Number one, this person, which we want to join uh, this group of customers forever, needs to be overweight. If this person is not overweight, this person will never join us, right? I would say we will not talk to this person, right? If you as a distributor see five people around, two of them are, are overweight and three are not, you would go first to talk to overweight people. This is the nature of, of Herbalife distributor because we want to help them to lose weight, right? Is that right? Yep. So you would go to these people. How about these people? How about other three? Those who are looking good, not overweight, still need to improve their nutrition, right? But we are not going to talk because we choose to go to, to talk to these people. So is it universal approach? No. Not exactly, right? Because we choose these people and not that people. So this product in this case will not come to every home. So let's say that this person is overweight. Now the next condition, this person must have at least $150, $200 a month to spend for our program, right? Here in States, maybe it's not a, a, a big problem and many people can spend $150. Still many people here in California complain that they have no money, all right? We, have more, we hear more complaints from California than from uh, Malaysia. <laughs> So these people have to have money. If they don't have to have money, but they're overweight, they will not join us. Or they will not stay with us because they have no money enough to pay every month. Now, the next one is desire to lose weight. I know some people who are overweight, do have money, but are not interested to lose weight. They say, I'm fine. Are you aware of, you, you met these people? Next one, these people must be not on any other diet at this particular moment, because otherwise they would say, yeah, I just started my new diet three days ago, and it's going great. This is my diet number 25, <laughs> all right? It's my 25th diet. I'm gaining slowly but surely gaining weight with all my diets. But this is another one, and I hope this one will work for me. Now, this time, it will work, OK? It usually takes another week or two to give up, <laughs> exactly, and start looking for 20th. Sixth diet, <laughs> all right. But anyway, many people, if they're on some kind of diet, they just paid money, they have hope, they are explained that it will work. So uh, in many cases, they will say, let me work with this one, and then I'll be in touch with you, right? And uh, you feel not exactly right to go and pitch your program when someone just paid $300 for another one just two days ago, right? You feel kind of something is wrong. You want to say, okay, no problem. You try your, and let's, be in, let's get in touch, and 
and so. So another one is readiness to start. This person must be ready to start our program. Some people say, you know what? I don't want Herbalife. Are you familiar with this kind of people? <laughs> Have you seen this kind of people? Yeah. Or just myself? <laughs> you know, some people, some people, you know, they had some rumors that some people um, even tried and, 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 you know, they are still overweight because they tried. And this is exactly the problem. They tried. They've tried. They didn't continue. They gave up. And that's the problem because we want this product to be in every home and to stay in every home. Once the, the product is in every home, stays in every home, then people will lose weight and keep it off forever. But if not, if distributor just sold product and didn't take care of the rest, right, then people just, they try, they lose weight, and then they give up uh, due to many different reasons, right? Then, uh, of course, they get back to their nutritional habits, gain weight again, and then they blame Herbalife or whatever. They blame everything you want, not themselves, of course, but everything else, right? So next one, if they start it, they must be satisfied with results. Not everybody is satisfied with results. Nothing to do with our products. It's because of people's attitude. I know some people who say, I just lost five pounds. This is not enough. I wanted to lose 20, all right? And I paid $150 for five pounds. This is $30 per pound. <laughs> I could do it with, without any product. I just close my mouth, don't eat anything, okay, for three days, and I lose this pound, and I save $30, okay? So people have kind of very funny approaches to this to, to, in terms of judgments, how to judge and how to get these results, how to try. Sometimes distributors help, right, with the attitude, say, five pounds, great, hey, George, this is unbelievable. And sometimes distributor is not around to say that five pounds is great actually, right? Just keep going. Next month, it will be another five pounds. Don't, ex don't, ex don't think about 20 pounds. It's fine. Five pounds is very good, but, you know, it's not uh, always happening. So people must be satisfied with the results. They must be ready to continue. You know that many people, at some point, they are not ready to continue, and there is not every time distributor around to strengthen, right, and uh, motivate. And... Um, after those people lost weight, we want them to continue, and this is not happening in every case. People lose weight. For them, weight loss is a temporary uh, journey. They want to get uh, rid of their diets and get back to their normal food, right, and enjoy. This is what they want. So when people come to a weight loss program, what they are interested about are those things. How much it costs, number one, right? Number two, how long it will take. And number three, when I finish this and when I'm back to my normal food, okay? I want to get to my normal food. People are not, once they are not educated, they want to get to their normal food. This is another diet. I am, with my best products in the world, don't want to be another diet. You understand my problem? I just don't want to be another diet because I have the best nutritional solution. That's why I want this product to stay in every home and not just to be another diet, another diet, another diet. Because another diet has this kind of attitude. Okay, how much is it? And when it, it, it's over and I can get back to my whatever. So I came to this conclusion that with weight loss, we just catch this little niche market at the end of the day after all those conditions and we are not in everybody's home. So I came to the conclusion that weight loss program doesn't fully conform with the universal approach. Means weight loss is a temporary. Breakfast, for example, this is needed for a lifetime for everybody. So let's continue. Another very interesting uh, point to see in order to look at universal approach, okay, is uh, what kind of socioeconomic segments of the marketplace we are working. It's especially important in emerging markets. It's maybe less important in America or in some other uh, advanced countries. But even in America, there are many people who count their money, right? And they, and they count them well, okay? Every dollar. So let's see. If we sell a $150, $200 program, we are working with the niche market again. 
So this is emerging markets. This is not America. But most of the world is emerging markets, by the way. So 3 to 5% are rich, 10 to 15% middle class, 25% below average. And then over half of the population, actually, they don't have enough money to pay $150 a month. Okay? Again, in advanced countries is, is, is different, but still same kind of idea. So if we look for people with money, we then talk about, again, niche market. It means that majority, the bottom of the socioeconomic pyramid, will not be our customers. And this is very sad. These people deserve the same type of nutrition as uh, people with money, I believe. OK, by the way, it was proved in Mexico when they, they found a solution to be in every economic segment. And they did great job. And that's how Mexico became Mexico. And now nutrition clubs are, are everywhere in the world, and everyone wants to do it. And the question is where and with whom we are working. We are looking for money or we are looking for people? And this is a big question, because many people are looking for money. And once you are looking for money, you are in the wrong direction. You need to look for people and think about people's results and not their money. And in order to get people results, you need to slightly change your mind. Again, it's especially important in, in, uh, in, in uh, emerging markets in countries which are not advanced economic-wise, uh, but everywhere. Now, another place which I was looking for a uh, universal solution is our methods of operations. You know, we have many different methods of operations. Distributors choose what to do. Some of them do uh, what we call traditional methods, right? Traditional methods is uh, talk to people, right? And this is where the button, and this is uh, give flyer. And this is do survey and, uh, and, and, and call friends and make list of friends and uh, do some kind of other types of marketing and some pull tabs, ads, and things, and all different kinds of things, which we always did. And this is what we call traditional methods. Another one is total plan. Another one is wellness evaluation, which is part of, again, total plan idea of getting referrals. And then nutrition clubs. And then some people do sampling, and some people work through the internet, and some people do other things. So there are many ideas on, on what to do. And if we want to be universal on this marketplace, we want to be uh, aware of all methods and try to take advantage of, of all of them. Let me explain what do I mean. I just want to take as example another company called Walt Disney. Uh, Walt Disney, by the way, Michael Johnson is coming from Walt Disney. This is another example of great universal approach. And, if, and everybody knows that Disney is in every home. Okay, This is a brand which is in every home. And uh, I was in, uh, in Japan the other day. And I told him that Michael Johnson did it once. All right? He has good track record in terms of taking product to every home. By the way, pay attention. OK, so we do have great example. So and then I, it was like 5,000 people in, 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 in Japan. And I asked them, do we have any person in this room who doesn't have any product from uh, Walt Disney? And then it was quiet. you know. And then one lady said, I, I think I don't have any. <laughs> it was one old lady, you know. <laughs> She said, I think I, don't, I think I don't have anything of, of Walt Disney. Just one out of the, the whole stadium of 5,000 people. Um, I just asked her to leave the room, not to, <laughs> you know, to keep our statistics, you know. No, kidding. Uh, I didn't ask her. So um, Walt Disney, why should we look at this uh, uh, Walt Disney example? This is a great example. So let's see. Disney, they have uh, three major categories. Uh, product categories, movies and TV. The second one is Disney theme parks. And then consumer products, right? Now, they have distribution channels, distribution channels of their products. Movies and TV are distributed through cinemas and television, everything you want. Disney parks are usually in parks. And consumer goods are sold through shops, parks, internet, anything like that, right? But let me ask you a question. What is in common in all those products? There are hundreds of different products, or I would say thousands. If you take all the movies and all goods and all consumer products and everything, and all, everything which is sold in, in parks, 
right, in Disneyland, what is in common? What makes them? Exactly. Brand, this. This picture, right? This little thing. So you take any product, you stick this kind of thing on it, right? And you can then add to the product category, to one of them. Is it true? That's it. So what, what, do, what kind of association you have with this picture in your mind? Fun, Fun happiness, entertainment. entertainment. This is because you are adults, you have entertainment. No, <laughs> magic, magic, <laughs> OK, in, entertainment. Magic, right? Tales, childhood. This is what you have in your mind, first of all, right? Mickey Mouse and all the things. So it means th this is in common, right? So brand. So they take this brand, any product they want, and they sell through different channels. And here's the question is coming. Do they have conflict amongst their different distribution channels or not? They don't, right? They don't have any pro pro Moreover, they support each other. When you come to park Disneyland, right? you can find many reasons to go and see a movie later on. Once you see a movie, right, and then you want to go to, to get to, to buy this toy, all right? So they support each other. All distribution channels support each other. And here's the question. Why our method of operations must be in conflict with each other? No reason, because these are just distribution channels of the same product. And here's the question, the main question. Do we have the same one universal product in every time we talk to people? Not exactly. Not exactly. Some people pitch personal care. Some people pitch thermal tea. Some people say extra cal is the one. Some people say you need fiber. Some people say you need to lose weight, right? And some people say you can't even imagine we have this great new product called Nightworks. This is what you need. You need Nightworks. So once you have different products, we will, we will not be able to sell them in the same way through different channels. Our daily method of operations, as we call them, DMO, okay, must support the universal approach, okay? The daily method of operation is less important than the product itself. No matter how, we need to get people to the same product. You can do it through any channel you want, any daily method of operation you want, but to the same idea, right? And then in your organization can be people who even do different things, but still bring people to the same product called Herbalife Nutritional Solution. We want to make all methods universally good, Okay, and acceptable by every distributor and not being in conflict with each other but supporting each other. Traditional total plan, nutrition clubs, everything you want, and of course internet and sampling, which is uh, coming uh, in the uh, last uh, few years, right? So we want to find solution where everything will work together with no conflict. Working methods, we say, are just distribution channels. We need to, to make, to pay attention to the product, more attention to the product, more bring people to the product rather than argue what kind of daily method of operation I choose and you choose and, uh, do, and are we friends with you or not. If you don't do flyers and I do flyers, I, I'm not your friend. And if you come, <laughs> and, and, and if you come to my organization and you do flyers and I don't do flyers in my group, I don't want to have you as a speaker. I, don't, I will not bring my people to your workshop because you do flyers and I'm not. You do nutrition club, I don't do nutrition club. I will not bring my people to your workshop. Is it smart? Yeah. We all together are trying to bring people to our product. That's the main point. It means that all channels are good. Channels, okay, channels. Daily method of operations are just channels to bring people to something. And what is this something we will now discuss? What is the universal need? So, and the question, uh, the last one is where are we working? Locally or we, we are driving? You know, people, they love to drive. They, they just, they need to spend five hours a day in traffic. 
They need, you know, to pollute the, the air, all right, and exhausts and time, and they, they just, they love it, all right? I don't. I personally don't, li li I don't like it. So I prefer to work around my place, in my village where I live, so in my town. So this idea is coming from Mexico, by the way. And Mexicans, what they uh, found that once you do nutrition club for your neighbor neighborhood, then your customer retention is very high because people can come and see you every day. They can come, come and pay a little sum of money every day. And this is community and people see each other every day. And this is actually, once it's built, it's very strong. People want to see each other every day. It's becoming a part of their life. And this is very strong. That's why we want to work locally. I don't want to drive three hours from my place to talk to someone because I have the same someone, okay, just next door to me. Why should I travel three hours? This is my question for many years. Just knock the door and say, hello, I'm your neighbor. And I have this incredible solution for you. This is not the wording, right? But I'll tell you <laughs> later the real one. Okay? So I, again, if we travel around and look for some kind of people because I got referral or, or I know someone has money over there, right? This is not universal, okay? Again, I'm looking for money or I'm looking for something, but this is niche market for me and I want to be accepted in every home, at least in my neighborhood, all right? Just take 100 meters around your home, right? And do 100% of homes like Mexicans do, like nutrition club people are doing. They take their place, and they take 200 homes around and product, you can find product in every home or almost every home. This is a little realization of the idea. Nutrition Club is the one, by the way, right? It's not the only method of operation, but this is the one which can take the little community and make their very high penetration. So uh, we've been looking for different ideas to, to find our concept, which kind of product we can come with to everybody. So weight loss, we said this is niche market, not because people are not overweight, but just because over weight loss program is a temporary program for people. They want to get rid of, of diet and get back because they don't understand. It's because of their awareness. People are not aware of all the complications of wrong uh, food. I, I can't call it nutrition even, right? So uh, personal care is again niche market, not because we have not the best personal care product in the world, but this is the nature of the situation. We have great competition on the market in, in terms of uh, good cosmetic products, right? The only one thing which we can be really universally accepted is a nutritional solution, and nutrition starts in the morning. And let's talk about the concept called breakfast. And why breakfast? Where does bad nutrition begin? We ask people. And people say, you know that it's breakfast, right? But people who don't know, and we was, ask them question, we do it during the HOM. Uh, we ask them, when do you people think bad nutrition begin? And they say, it begins in childhood. It begins in the school, family. And we say, no, it begins every day in the morning. This is what we say. This is what we discovered, because what began 20 years and 30 years ago, it's not relevant anymore when it began and how and why. And of course, we didn't expect from your parents to be very savvy in nutrition, right? But now it's time to learn. Now it's time to understand that nutrition can cause problems, all right? So now it's the time to educate a population and get people aware of all potential implications. So we say it begins every day in the morning. And here's the question is coming. What have you had for breakfast today? So this is becoming, you know, the Microsoft slogan, where do you want to go today, right? So we now, we've started with the new slogan, which is now universally <laughs> accepted <laughs> everywhere we are working. And this is what have you had for breakfast today? This is the main question now. It's becoming main question. And later on, I'll tell you what's going on with customers. You're gonna love it. Because customers, once they learn why breakfast is so important, they start and they change their breakfast and they see results, immediate results. Uh, they start asking their friends, what have you had for breakfast? They ask them. We have new kind of customers. Our old customers, those who wait, weight loss, the classic weight loss customers, they used to hide. 
the fact that they are on another diet. No matter what diet, no matter what results, they want to hide. They want to come uh, after a couple of uh, months or three months or so, they want to come to their whatever place they work and say, look at me, I just lost weight. <laughs> and everyone say, wow, great, you just lost weight. This is what they want to achieve. They don't want to tell. I just yesterday started my 25th diet. They don't, they hide information. Are you aware of that? People don't want to share that they, and yesterday they started another one because, you know, everybody knows that they, they've tried many times and didn't succeed and they don't want to, to, uh, to face it again and so on. So they want to come with the result already. But with this information, people come and talk. Next day they start talking to others. They start talking. So our customers, first time in, the, in my 17 years in the business, they start to behave as distributors. This is new beginning, completely new behavior, which we never seen, never seen. In most cases, customers didn't talk. In this case, all customers talk. They all talk, they all bring friends without asking referrals. This is something unusual. They bring referrals, they talk, they call and they say, can you meet this? Can I bring this? Can I? Some people say, can I bring, can, can, can you come and talk to my, I have in my uh, department where I work, I have 70 people. Can you come and talk? I say, do, 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 do. just a second. Let's first get results. You will, and this is during the sale, during this simple explanation, which I'm going to give you now, right? People during the sale, they already want to, to me to come and tell everybody. The rest, their families and friends and everybody. So everything starts with this question. Why breakfast? Types of modern breakfast. Number one is carbs-based breakfast. The second type of uh, breakfast is a so-called balanced breakfast that still has excess carbs. Some people just eat toast or curaçao, coffee, sugar. OK, this is kind of breakfast. Another one, or, or cereal or something like that. Everything is carbs. Pure, simple carbs, okay, which immediately turn to be sugar in our blood, right? And the other people say, no, I have an omelet, right, and some salad, and I add some, some other things, and a couple of toasts with the jam and <laughs> coffee. Okay, so this, I, I'm interested in these toasts and the jam. I'm, I'm less interested in, in in salad, I, I'm more interested to hear about the two toasts with the jam. This is what I want to know, <laughs> okay? So in most cases, that's the case, and they call it so-called balanced, but still, that's the problem. Still, that's the problem, excess carbs. And others, they just skip breakfast. They don't have breakfast, they say, I'm, you know, I'm, this is, a, this is in fashion, I just skip breakfast, I just smoke a cigarette, and then I go. <laughs> I'm cool, you know, I'm cool, I just skip. I'm, this is not cool at all, by the way. From our body perspective, this is not cool at all. And this is like third of the population. This is third of the population. This is third of the population. And this is third of the population. I don't know exactly what's going on in states, but in some countries, this is more or less the case, all right? So once people start this day uh, from carbs, they tend to continue their day with carbs. And they don't understand why. And they don't know that they need to think why. They, they are not aware at all that something is wrong. They just continue. They are not educated, not aware. They are not savvy. They don't understand. Nobody explained to them. They didn't read articles. They don't search in, in internet. They, don't, they are not subscribed for, for magazines and particular whatever newspapers and online things. They just don't know. But this is how they eat. And some of them try to change sometimes, but they can't. Why they can't? Because they can't fight with our, their own body's chemistry. You can't win your body, okay? You just need to cooperate with your body's physiology, okay? You don't need to fight. These people, they can't uh, win this situation. They just continue to take a little bit of sweets and you know, of this and coffee and drink during the day. And, and here's why. And of course, you know where it's uh, leading to. It's leading to uh, obesity, overweight, and uh, many other problems associated with that. Now, 
Some people say, I eat with my eyes. This is I, I've, I've heard from some people. Okay, not everybody is saying that, but some people I've heard, I eat with my eyes. Okay, I eat everything I see, they say. Everything which was around, I just take and eat. This is what they say. And they don't understand this has nothing to do with eyes. No, that's right that eyes are those who, uh, you know, lead the way. That's true. <laughs> but uh, something is behind our eyes, right? Something is sending the hand to take. And this something is actually organ called pancreas. Not everyone is aware of how our body works. Majority of people don't know. Okay, those who know are scientists, doctors, and friends of doctors, <laughs> and family members, maybe. But by the way, doctors are not healthier than the average population. Okay, so they need to know. Pancreas is an organ of our body which produces gastric juices and insulin. So this is the one. Okay, if you want to know how it looks like, people some, usually they want to know how it looks like. Otherwise, it's it's difficult to to imagine. So, so this is the one. That's the hero of the show. That's the one. This is, this is our stomach, and this is the pancreas. Do we need sugar, by the way? Does our body need sugar? It does. Our brain needs glucose, sugar, right? Mm -hmm. So there is no other food. We are fortunate that our brain doesn't get those pizzas, right? <laughs> into the brain directly. There is some kind of barrier in between that, fortunate, that, that, that fortunately doesn't let it go in, okay? So otherwise we would die with the, with the pizza in the brain. <laughs> I have no doubt, no doubt, okay? So how it works? Let's understand first that human body consists of around 100 trillion cells. This is more or less the number, okay? We don't, we didn't count ev each, uh, everybody's cells. John Tartle d definitely has more cells <laughs> because he is very sportive, right? And takes care of himself. No, I'm just kidding. So this is official disclaimer, I'm just kidding. <laughs> John Tartle probably has the same number of cells or similar to all others, all right? But anyway, uh, and it requires a particular number of nutrients. So scientists are still arguing what is the number, right? But it's over 100. Some people give different numbers. So we took just one particular number from one literature source. There are other sources, okay? But this is less important. This is over 100 different nutrients our body needs every single day, by the way. And what scientists proved recently, that everything you it today is not relevant a week uh, from now. It will be burned today, okay? It's just today, it's to support. Today's food is to support today, okay? So everything we ate yesterday is already spent. Are you aware of that? It's gone completely. So what we ate yesterday gave us energy and nutrients to regenerate cells and tissues of our body. How did our body spend all this? And we want to know. You know why do we need to know this? I'll tell you why. It's because our job is not to feed our stomach, but cells. Stomach is a tool. Intestine is just a tool to feed our cells. We are eating for cells. So when, when, when someone is, is, is taking his hot dog, right, it's better to think twice whether is it something my cells need or not, or my body, or, or my uh, stomach, just for me to satisfy my hunger, right? So, and the question definitely is not, in most cases, hot dog is not the one, is not the source of nutrients which our body needs, cells. So we are eating to feed cells. That's the bottom line, you can write this down. We are eating to feed cells at the end of the day. This is cellular nutrition, by the way. We are dealing with cellular nutrition means we need to take Nutrients to cells, that's, the, this is the, uh, that's why we eat. So our nutrition gives us energy, which coming from fats, carbs, and proteins. We mostly spend energy during the day. We less spend energy during the night. During the, during the night, our body is busy to regenerate 
cells and tissues of our body, and it badly needs all the nutrients to restore cells and tissues, right? This is very complicated process. Every cell is a big factory, which needs many, 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 many raw materials to come in order to reproduce itself in a normal way. If it doesn't come, all the raw materials does, don't come, right? The cell needs, the cell anyway does the job, but without all those raw materials, all those nutrients, we can see the process called aging. Okay, aging starts with this on the cellular level. And when people don't to be, don't to age before their biological age, they need to take care, first of all, of these raw materials which are coming to our body. This is number one in preventive anti-aging is nutrition. First of all is nutrition, okay? Not to be, not to age very fast. Okay, we need to take care of what is coming to our cells first because aging is starting at level called cells, all right? So we spend yesterday energy. We spend all the nutrients during the night and water. Okay, we breathe and then we go to the restroom in the morning and we got rid of all the water we, we've been drinking during yesterday. Okay, and now we wake up empty. Write this down. We wake up empty. That's the word. I use empty means energy is spent, which is coming from yesterday's food, okay? Um, nutrients mostly gone, right? Water gone. You know how much water do we, let's say, lose during this night? Over one liter. And some people, and then our body wakes up and asks, right, in the morning and demands those nutrients back. This is what happens. It says, give me my nutrients back. You can get out, you know, to your uh, balcony and see this guy is, is standing downstairs over there with a big poster, give me my nutrients back. I've spent everything, my water and my nutrients and my energy. I want energy, nutrients, and water back. And what do, do some people give instead? Nothing, Nothing or, or coffee instead of water right? Or nothing at all? Or cigarette? Or carbs? And carbs is what? Sugar. sugar. So we usually give sugar or nothing instead of 114 nutrients and water. And this is really bad. This is where problems start. Now, if carbs are coming, right? So this is a very, very schematic way of giving you an, an idea what's going on in our body. But this is very important one. This is how people can understand what's going on more or less and why they suffer from different situations and conditions, right, at the end of the day. This is not very scientific way to show, but this is very schematic way to show, okay? But this, you can understand more or less how it works. It was another disclaimer, by the way. <laughs> so, so once a person starts with the carbs, Blood sugar level goes up. This is, by the way, this is normal blood sugar level. Normal, okay? We need sugar. You remember brain, muscles, some other things, liver, some. There is a whole story of sugar is a very important thing. The problem is excesses of sugar. That's the big problem. You know, by the way, and you need to know this fact, 50 years ago, we used to consume 200 kilos or around 400 pounds of food during the year. Now we consume 300 kilos or over 600 pounds. 50% more food we consume today than 50 years ago. And all this incremental food is carbs. So our body needs to, some, what, to do something with that. That's why we have so many people with uh, obesity People gain weight and they get to many, many problems, okay? So the incremental quantities of food as are coming from the carb source, first of all. So that's the problem. It's, became, it's a food industry. It's became an industry. It used to be, you know, your mom and dad cooking something at home, right? But they're not cooking at home anymore in many cases. People buy here and there things which are already done by someone and you don't, it's not even someone. Even someone was not there. <laughs> Machines do everything. Okay, so blood sugar 
level is going up. As a result, pancreas starts to produce insulin to take it down. Because the job of insulin to take, to remove sugar from the blood, a little bit it sends to brain, a little bit to a liver, a little bit, but the rest has nothing to do with that. So it produces fat. It turns it into fat, our cellular fat. And this is this, all those events. This is how we gain weight. You know, people get on their scale, and then they see, I've gained two pounds during last month. This is not good. But actually, they gain weight every day, 10 times a day. This is not once a month, and this is not once a week. This is five times a day, 10 times a day. Let's see how it works. Now insulin comes and removes sugar from the blood. And now we come to the level sugar drops, right? And now here we feel something which is very interesting. Let's say we, we ate something. We are not hungry, right? But now we feel hunger. We feel that an hour later or half an hour later, we want to take something, right? Why do we want to take? Because we have lack of energy. People, you know, they, they, they experience this lack of energy. They are tired during the day a few times. Some of you can, can rem you remember yourself when, especially after lunch time, you want to, you go like this. <laughs> are you familiar with that? Mm -hmm. But you, uh, why you are lacking energy? You, you, because you got, I mean, you got food. And then why uh, uh, half an hour later, your, your intestine is still full of food, right? But you go, something is sending your, your, your hand to take another portion of coffee, Coke, and, uh, and carbs, and sweets, and things. You need to get back your sugar. That's the problem. It's because of sugar. Once sugar is low, your brain lacking sugar. And your brain sends you to sleep. Standby mode. <laughs> your brain, due to low level of sugar, sends you to standby mode, like computer. It's exactly, it's like gas. You can't drive with no gas in your, in, your, in your car, right? So you need to have gas. So once you get to the situation, you're lacking energy, and you, you tend to take another sweets or coffee, right? And then you get back again your sugar, right? Pancreas. Poor pancreas just thought, very naive. <laughs> pancreas is very naive organ. Okay, it, it thought, it thinks, when is it over? When this, this dinner is over? Pancreas doesn't know because they bring and bring and bring and bring, right? And then they bring, and then after one hour of, of all this, now the uh, the dessert is coming. And pancreas did know the dessert is coming, right? <laughs> So it wanted just to go down and stop working hard, but actually we say, no, bring dessert. Let's get back again, <laughs> okay? So it gets back again, and now it works again and again and again and again. So, and during the day, people experience those kind of things, and this is a vicious cycle, and it's nothing to do. If you started your day in this way, you, you just continue, because you have no choice. In most cases, you have no choice, right? If you if you don't, didn't eat your breakfast, you skip breakfast. Some people skip breakfast because of they want to lose weight. This is so wrong. And they cause vice versa, actually, the opposite results. Because they didn't give anything to their body, right? Sugar level is dropping sooner or later, no choice. And then they experience, two hours later, they experience hunger. And what they are looking for? Coffee, snacks, sweets and everything which was around. And of course they find it. Once they found sugar level goes up, insulin takes it down, and the rest is the same. So it's exactly the same. It's even worse, by the way. But it's more or less the same, okay, with the difference of couple of hours. It's exactly the same process, okay? So what I wanted just to give you an, a little conclusion, that this vicious cycle leads to overweight state, which can then lead to other diseases, such as diabetes and cardiovascular diseases, right? This is not me who in, invented this idea, okay? And the importance of breakfast was recently discovered during last 
few years, it was more and more scientific uh, support is coming from the uh, scientific community about breakfast, right? So what are the criteria of good breakfast? People want to know. After we tell them that their breakfast is not right, they ask us questions, so what, is, what it is supposed to be? And then we tell them four points. We give them four points, four criteria of good breakfast. Number one, it must provide the body with all the vital nutrients. We need to educate people, right? We educate people. That's our mission. Once we educate, they stay with us. They don't go for a temporary weight loss program because it's much wider than just weight loss. It's fixing the cause of weight loss. Number one, provide the body with all the vital nutrients. Number two, provide the body with the energy. Number three, provide the body with the water. And number four, maintain the normal blood sugar level. And then the chart would, will, will look like that. If we don't give too much of carbs, no surge of sugar level, no drops, no insulin is not involved, and then we're coming to the lunch time, and we control our appetite. We don't have this hunger. You remember the carbs hunger? Hunger for carbs? We don't have it. And then people come to, the, to their lunch, and they're fine. They, eat, they choose what to eat, not pancreas. <laughs> pancreas doesn't control us anymore. So we control our, ourselves, and this is what we see. We see immediate, once we change um, breakfast, we can see immediate, immediate change in nutritional habits. I immediate, same day. We got results in same day. This page actually tells you what I told you. If you start your day with carbs, and this is five lines of what happens. If you skip your, your breakfast, this is six lines of what happens. And if you have right breakfast, this is another five lines of what happens, right? And this is just one page which explains everything. What do we do with this page? We just give it to every customer. When we sell the product, we, we use it to sell. And once we sell, we give something like that. OK, we just give this. We print it and give it to our customers. And our customers, they really now feel that they need it. They can appreciate the information. And now they can even share the information. And what's interesting, they want to share the information. This is new customer's behavior, which we never seen. If I lose weight, it's me. It's I lose weight. I don't care about someone else, right? I'm not on mission of nutrition. I just lose weight, right? And I want to lose weight faster than my neighbor, <laughs> right? <laughs> I want to be thin and healthy, OK? This is in some people's nature, right? But once they Awareness is growing, they understand why they are overweight, why health problems are coming, some of them, or many of them, right? So now they want to share the information, and once I give them the tool to share, they start to share, to talk to everybody and show. And if you give 10 copies of this to one customer, you got 10 customers. This is what we found. If you give one page, you get one customer. You get five, you get five. They just start giving everybody, and they start asking others the question, what have you had for breakfast? By the way, I just learned a new thing. Let me tell you, I just do my right breakfast. It's nothing to do with someone secretly losing weight. <laughs> okay, It's a completely different idea. Behavior is different. Psychology is different here. People want to share newly found information. Okay, They want to share. They want to share with their family, friends, Neighbors, everybody, did you fix your breakfast already, they say? What do you eat for breakfast? They all start uh, asking each other, especially uh, in their, where they work. They meet people, and they ask them, what did you have? This is very new behavior, which we never seen. No secrecy anymore. <laughs> and it means that they behave like what? They behave like distributors. Once they start talking, they behave like distributors. And this is very easy to turn them into distributors later on. Very easy. Now, and then they ask me, how can I get this kind of breakfast? And I say, of course, this is our breakfast. We have the one. OK, so our breakfast is uh, actually three products. It's coming, the idea is coming from Mexico. 
okay? They already fixed it. They found that this is very, very effective. We start our day with a glass of aloe, cleansing our body, many, many good nutrients. Over 100 nutrients just in different botanical factors just in, uh, and just in aloe. Can you imagine? Over 70 of them are responsible for, for different good things in our digestion system. This is very rich product. We start, we fix digestion, big glass of aloe, one. Second, thermogenics beverage, another glass, right? Energy, antioxidants, many good things, another support, more fluids, more water again. And then we take shake. All nutrients, protein, and everything. Okay, so we, this is uh, over one liter of, of water we consume in the morning. And then what we say, we say that we have to continue with the, to drink during the day if we want to get energy and antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and water, right? We need to keep going with the water, not with Coke, not with coffee, right? not to stimulate ourselves with, with coffee because we are down, right? So we make uh, one and a half liter. So we put just one teaspoon for, for this big bottle of water. If, if you want, you can put two. You can put even three if you want, okay? But uh, trust me, one or two is enough. People feel great, right? If you want to feel even more energy, you can add a little bit. But one or two is enough. You can even add a little bit of aloe concentrate and make mix, and this is incredible product. By the way, if you add both and you keep drinking during the day, you got two and a half liters of water during the day with all the vitamins and nutrients, and you give up all the rest of sweet juices and Cokes and coffee. You just, just, just don't want it. You just don't want it. And then people take the bottle and carry. This is most sellable product now mm -hmm. in, in our uh, organization. No, no, not the bottles, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the uh, idea. People, everyone is, is, is going with, with these big bottles now. And we make sure that people drink during the day. They drink, they wash away all the uh, toxins from their body, they detoxicate their everything. So, so, by the way, if someone can't afford it, all right, and this is cheaper than weight loss program, by the way, much cheaper. You remember we wanted to feed all social socioeconomic segments this is half of weight loss program in terms of price and people lose weight like crazy you remember mark Hughes used to say you take two shakes a day three t t tablets three times a day and you lose weight like crazy you remember if you t take this you lose weight like crazy as well <laughs> this is what we found you know how we found this in mexico we came to mexico and we asked them guys what what is your program they said this one two three in some places, no, people can't afford, so they just take this and this, just thermogenics beverage, the tea, and the shake, and people lose weight like crazy. We say, how can you do it? What's, what's the deal? What about second shake? What about tablets? They say they lose weight like crazy. We didn't understand why. And later on, when science came, we understood, we got it. From the very morning, we actually avoid those you remember those surges of sugar? So people don't gain weight. And if they don't gain weight, if they don't have excesses of sugar, our body has no choice but to turn our body fat into energy, into sugar. Body, like sugar, is turned into, into fat. The opposite is to fat is, is becoming sugar. And this is the opposite. This is how we uh, lose weight. OK, the opposite to gain weight. And our body knows what to do if we don't provoke it with the, with the, with the ex ex excesses of, of carbs, okay? So these two products, three is much better, is a great weight loss program, especially if you keep drinking during the day thermogenic. People lose weight like crazy. My last customer, 20 pounds in one month, okay? Just one, just breakfast. With just one breakfast. Now, some people need second shake. Some people want to control the second part of the day. So they need second shake. So after a few days, once we establish awareness here, 
we can add things. We can, I'll, I'll tell you later what we do. We start with the breakfast concept. People understand where the problem came from. We fix the problem, and then we personalize the program. With second shake, some people need second shake, some people need um, other products around, okay? But first of all, they need to understand where the problem came from, fix the problem, and then add other things after a few days. But now, be nobody waiting for the end of the program. You see the difference? Nobody says, when I'm getting back to my food. And this is new. And now they go and ask everybody, what did you have for breakfast? So customer retention is completely different in our case now. Completely, I never seen this customer, this kind of customer behavior. We start with breakfast and good nutrition idea. This is what we sell, even to overweight people. They come and say, I want to lose weight. I say, no problem. Let me explain to you where your problem came from first. Fix the cause, fix the reason, and later on, we will lose weight, no problem. We, you will lose weight, don't worry, okay? But just first of all, you need to understand why you are overweight and what to do. So results and awareness. This is first 10 days usually. This is what we learned from Mexicans. Usually first week or two or 10 days, it's approximately, right? We talk about breakfast, good nutrition, product results, and awareness, right? And people lose weight. Everybody loses weight. Everybody. I haven't seen anyone who didn't lose weight. And they lose weight like crazy. Just don't worry. Now, those who need to lose weight for some time, now we establish a program. Some people need second shake, we sell second shake. If they need more of the shake to be more satisfying, we recommend them to add some protein, right? Now, <clears throat> if they need other pro pro products like Formula 2 and they still can afford it and that's fine, or, or, or Formula th or Cell Activator, Herbalife line and other products, you add. After a week or so, you start adding products. But person is yours forever. Awareness is already here. It's done. Okay. Now we keep going. And once someone lost weight, they stay with you. Because they understand that there is no way back to Corazon in the morning. And they understand why. They have to continue. Now they understand that they need to look for a nutritional solution for the rest of their life. And why should I look for one if I have one already? And during those months, working with this person, we have enough time to educate this person and his family and the entire environment around, right, that this is the right way. Moreover, this person is becoming messenger. Once you turn a person into messenger, he will be very loyal because he already convinced others. Can you imagine? And this is different customers. These are our loyal customers who stick to the company and products forever. And once they start talking, they become distributors. Even if they are not signed as a distributor. I can give you an example. We have like 10 times more customers than, than, than ever before. We never had so many customers. And then they stay with us forever. Once we fix awareness. And this is our new motto. Uh -huh. If you want to lose weight, you need to fix your breakfast first. OK, that's the, that's the story now. Is that a new button? No, it's not new button. <laughs> OK, this is not new button. And I'm not sure we need this kind of button. But I'm just saying that this is the idea. OK, this is the idea. You want to lose weight, you need to fix the reason. And reason is coming every day in the morning. And when people are, are, are not exactly aware or they are not ready for it, I say, no problem. Tomorrow, you can change your nutrition. If you, don't know, if you are not ready to change your nutrition now or tomorrow, no problem. You can do it after tomorrow. If you are not ready and you're still thinking, no problem. A week from now, choose one particular morning and fix your nutrition. It happens to you, the problem starts every single day in the morning. So choose the day, make a decision, and start your new breakfast program. In our company, we have our basic program, 
This is what uh, many people are now doing. The basic program is actually intelligent nutrition, healthy breakfast program. This is what we made a basic program in every daily method of operation, in nutrition clubs, outside the clubs, in total plan, in wellness evaluation, in, in traditional methods. We all sell good breakfast and then upgrade customer for the rest of things. What we call, we personalize programs, right, afterwards. But initially we get everybody to the same idea. So we got this Formula One Thermogenics and Aloe, right? And of course, then we, we, we add other products and get programs, right? Fitness, heart health, digestive, healthy, aging, immune, men, women, outer, nutrition, everything you want, okay? And I want to give you just a little, a few numbers. In 2006, these three products gave the company 47% of all sales, and this is number one, two, and three products, which means that those are three most important programs. They already the best sellers already, and this is not occasionally happened. This is because it works. Okay, this is that's why we just need to make it our, not 47. We need to make it 57. All right. And then people will get better results. This is very cheap compared to weight loss program. Same great results. After a few days, upgrade them to whatever you want. But then people have a, a pitch. They have a pitch, especially when you give them a piece of paper, they have a pitch to go and share like crazy with everybody. We got Total Plan Wellness brochure. And this is our basic program. You can see this one, these three products are becoming our basic program in total plan as well. We don't care about daily method of operation anymore. All of them are great, okay? We came to a conclusion that there is no place to argue about daily method of operations at all. This is a very stupid thing. And if someone is arguing and saying this is important, and if someone, I know some people, I told you, some people say, this speaker is coming to my city, he is doing this, and I'm not doing this, I will not bring my group. This is so primitive, okay? This is wrong. We need to take all those methods which are working to take people and take to, to bring them to the product. And which product is the basic one which need everyone needs? Again, you are talking about product. Breakfast. <laughs> everyone needs a breakfast. Children need breakfast. Adults. Sick, healthy, overweight, thin. Everyone needs breakfast, right? So we need to take them to a basic program, which is universal. You remember what we are talking about all the time? About universal. So Nutrition Club, of course, this is where it's coming from. All the results are coming from Nutrition Club. This is breakfast. By the way, Nutrition Clubs are breakfast clubs. This is where we actually got all the information that this kind of program works and gives weight loss results and health results and everything you want with just breakfast. Okay, again, results are amazing from day one. Energy is unbelievable. Appetite control is amazing. People say, wow, I didn't want this pizza. <laughs> it really works, and you will see it. Once you interview people, you will see results are amazing. Digestion problems, it's, it's amazing. People solve their problems, many of them, especially constipation and some others, just gone. Not all of them, otherwise it would be medical. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, another medical claim, right? People who hardly slept at night, sleep disorders, people start to sleep like crazy, like babies. Okay, so this is amazing. Those who suffered from headaches and used to every day drink pills and coffee and then just disappear. Uh, the mood and general well-being is unbelievable. Mood is much better now in, the, in our customers. This is another thing we paid attention. People have better mood. We never talked about it. We used to measure and weigh people. <laughs> and who cared about how they feel and what they say and how, how, what kind of energy they had? Everyone was just taking care of their weight and, and measurements. It was the biggest, uh, this is how we argued with customers. 
They said, I lost five pounds and this is not good enough. I said, no, this is great. Five pounds is great. They said, no, I wanted 10. I said, no, five is great. Let me, let's talk about attitude. You have bad attitude. So this is not the solution. We don't want, we don't, we can't re-educate, we, we can't change people's attitude uh, at once. It takes time. We need to build awareness. So Leon. Yes, please. May I ask a question? Yes, please. So actually what we're finding after the first day, people may actually have better energy, right? It may help them with their energy, may help them with their appetite control, may help them with digestion, may help them with their sleep, may help them with their headaches, you know, or just, you know, feeling better and better mood even, right? And it may even help them, you know, with their size, the controlling size and weight. Right. Is that what, what you're finding? Yep. This is, the, yeah. In, it may help in, them, right? in many customers. Gotcha. Just wanted to be uh, certain about that. So results are very broad now. Right. From day one. Right. Right. So, so not necessarily we're going to say that can absolutely do that, but it, in fact, may help people right from that first day. Yes, there is a probability. Wow, <laughs> fantastic. Which is very high. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way for us to personalize the program. We start with a good nutrition breakfast, right? Then we add products, and then we receive, as a result, we receive different programs. We use this kind of chart, by the way. I mean, people can use different charts, whatever uh, tools you, you have. We use the Nutrition Club tool. This is one page tool, so we got all the information about the customer. Working with customers became now different. Number one, simple explanation, no conflict with other diets. You know, I used to argue with, uh, with customers when they say, I just started my, my, my new diet. So my choice was to give up on this customer or to start arguing, saying, no, your diet is not good. My diet is very good. <laughs> I didn't like this. And I'm, in many cases, I just gave up. I said, OK, when you give up on your diet yourself, OK, you just let me know, and then we'll start our nutritional program. But now, you can't even imagine, I love every diet, everybody's diet. They say, I just started my new diet. I say, great, which one? What kind of diet did you start? They say, I started ABC diet. Oh, I say, oh, really? Oh, this is very good. It sounds good. What is it? They say, I do this and I do that. And then, oh, great. I say, very good. And may I ask you a question? They say, yes. What have you had for breakfast today? And then they answer. They say, I had two toasts <laughs> with a jam and coffee with sugar. And I say, OK, so let's talk now. And then we don't talk about their diet. We talk about. The, the, the other story, and they don't understand in this story I'm talking about. I just now it's time for me to gather some information from the person of their nutrition habits and then come back with the explanation why at many kinds of diets will not work and why just attempt to lose weight without fixing nutrition will not work again, like it happened already in many, in many, many times, right? So I ask my, my magic question. Can I ask you a question? They say, yeah. So I agree with everything. You remember? I agree with everything. I agree with the, their diet, with the, any opinions. The next one is no expectations of results. No expectations of results. Because I didn't sell weight loss, they don't expect to measure. I measure everything in way before. Of course, I do my regular follow-up, same way. But they don't have those expectations because they didn't start a, a classical, typical weight loss when I come and I sell pounds or kilos for their money. I don't come to exchange kilos for money, for dollars. OK, so they don't expect. I say, you will lose weight. Don't worry. But now we are in fixing nutrition situation first. So immediate impressive results. It's ended up in, in a completely different attitude as a result. It's good for the whole family. I don't sell for this uh, mama or papa anymore. I just come and sell for the whole family. Now we sell to families. Because now parents don't want their kids to start the day with the curacao and cereals and things like that. They already understand. They don't want their kids to do. They want to save their kids now from the industry. And simple, relatively simple follow-up. 
Okay? Recruiting is becoming much simpler. Recruiting is unbelievable. I personally, my secretary just told me a couple of weeks ago that last month, myself and my distributors, we've sold more IBPs last month, more than previous 12 months. And it's growing every month like this. I personally, last month, had my, my volume was uh, 12,000 volume points. And it was two halves of supervisors, 5,000 volume points. But, so, but I had 7,000 of non-qualifying volume. 7,000 volume points of nothing to do with qualifications. I never had 7,000 volume points <laughs> with no qualification. And those customers are very enthusiastic to share the information. And I just, once I, I ask them question, can you help me to share this information with others? They say, of course, of course. Many of them just ask me, how can I share with others? I don't even need to say. Some of them come and say, one lady came to me a few days ago and she says, I can do it myself. What you do? <laughs> I can tell people the same what, what, what you say. Because I don't sell, you understand? I'm not in sales. I'm, I share the information. I am excited. They're excited. They got results. After a few days, they say, they say, I can tell it. I can show this. I can give this piece of paper to other people. That's it. We need to educate people. We need to save children. They start talking same talk. They become distributors. They didn't know anything. I said, you need to become distributor. She said, what? In my last month, so two or three, you know when I start explaining marketing plan to, to people? When they are already distributors. This is new situation. People want to be distributors without understanding that there is marketing plan behind. They want to share the information. They want to save people's health and life. This is big deal. This is new customers, new behavior. We never seen this kind of behavior in customers. We came to recruit them, but they never it's never been the opposite. Now they're coming to ask how they can join. And once you have 40 or 50 customers, then you don't know what to do. <laughs> because they drive you crazy. They they drive you crazy. And your volume grows like this. Every single week, not months. This uh, volume, which I mentioned to you, by the way, uh, it was in, in the months when I was traveling, all months. Oh. This is amazing things going on. <laughs> so recruiting, contrary to diets, weight loss. Customers are enthusiastic in telling their friends about their new breakfast. It means they s that such a customer is a potential distributor. And because we have many customers, we have many distributors. And this is not distributors who are coming for just pure business and they don't care about products. No, they do care. That's why they're coming. And this is completely different distributors because they are coming from a personal experience and, and desire to share the information. <laughs> no need to chase money. Everybody can afford the products. So it's easy to new distributor to start working, especially in countries with no much money. You can have and serve many more such customers. And of course, you can increase number of potential distributors dramatically. Because we have this weekly HOM, and we just invite them to a weekly HOM, and they, many of them sign. And we just replace them, because it's easy to replace them. You remember, we put the entire families and their friends almost immediately. We build lines of, of customers. <laughs> this is amazing. You, Distributors from low, low socioeconomic segments can build a business in their own segments. They need to think twice, right? They just go and pitch breakfast, and this is $50 program. That's it. Not 150, but just 50. Very nice. So, and everybody can afford this is dollar and a half a day. Everybody can afford it. There is no person who can say, no, it's too much for me. I can't stay on this diet. So how to bring these parts together? You remember which parts we've been talking about? Universal product. We need to have one product, one some product for all methods of operations, for all people, right? We need some product. 
We need to fit one product into all methods of operations. Okay? We need to make sure that we work with everybody and not going somewhere to find someone because it's for everybody. It must come to every home and stay in every home. And of course, every segment, every social economic segment in every country, right? So, and then we've been looking for a product which can universally support all those criteria or perspectives or points of view. And universal product is coming and this is breakfast. This is healthy breakfast. Good nutrition and healthy bread. This, is, this can combine everything. This can make, put everything together and just, we have no limits anymore. No limits by any means, okay. Social economic segments are all okay. Daily method of operations, I'll, everything is fine for me. It's for me, it's, it's uh, just channels of distribution of the same product, okay. So we just create, we have now experienced great marriage of, of, of all methods. People stopped arguing. This is what happens in my group. Nobody argues uh, anymore about what to do. Everything, it works, let's do it. It can bring more leads to our product, let's do it. That's it. So, of course, people, they tend to specialize in something. Great. You want to do this, do this. You want to add this, great. You want to know about something else, come to this workshop. Everybody now is coming to every workshop and everybody is pitching the same product. And ways to get customers could be different. No problem at all. Everything works now, together. No more conflicts. We have the most united organization now. Seriously. First time since it was just one. You remember? Mm -hmm. Talk to people, use the product where the button and talk to people was just one. Right? Sell to Mary and bring Mary to the HUM. It was just one many years ago. And we get back now to this just one because all distribution channels are fine. The question is, what is the product? What is the one product for everybody which, which meets all the criteria? So as I told you, it could be this or it could be this. This is very basic for those who can afford a bigger one. And, and for bigger one, you can add protein, by the way. For those who need, some need second shake, some need protein to add. So this is personalizing already. And um, now all methods are working to very nicely. All of them are working. You can add to this chart uh, other methods, sampling, internet, other things which you do to lead, to get more leads from uh, people. Okay, traditional methods are working. Total plant nutrition club, sampling, internet, everything, everywhere. It works in, in, in different circumstances, but they all work. And they all bring us great, great results because we all, in, in every case, we get excited customers, new type of customers which we've never seen. Excited customers, no, ma no matter how we get. We just need to get message across no matter how. That's the point, right? And uh, in order to become, you remember this uh, Universal Soldier? It was a, a movie, Universal Soldier. So this is us now. Universal, but we called ourselves in, in more peaceful way, Universal Servant, <laughs> right? So we need to master all work methods or at least to understand them. We need to address all socioeconomic segments of the marketplace, rich and poor. We want to be in every home, you remember? This, these are ways to get to every home and stay in every home. Work locally and everywhere, not just drive. Just take care of your community. Address all specific segments of the marketplace, overweight and thin, young and old. Everyone needs breakfast. Men and women, sportsmen and chess players, and ordinary people. And healthy breakfast can help to bring those dimensions together. All dimensions are brought together, no more limits. Just we can go crazy now. And we see it already with volume, with recruiting, like never before. And there is no junk recruiting in this case. All customers, all excited, all coming in, all want to talk. We don't recruit people to find those who want to do business anymore because they just want to share a new kind of customers. New kind of, write this down. We have new kind of customers. Like we never seen it. We never seen this kind of excited customers. And our philosophy is that 
we need to remember that we are here for people results and not for people money, including distributors money and customers money. We want to get results. And this kind of approach helps us to get best results from customers and best business results for distributors. Because we are for here, we are here for their results. Customers and distributors best product and business results. And this co concept definitely helps to get to everybody, stay with everybody, right? And keep enjoying this customer base actually forever. Some of them will join us as distributors, we'll replace them with new people, but we now we lose less customers. I'm not talking about, again, daily method of operation. Some of them are very effective in retaining customers, such as uh, nutrition clubs, for example, which I recommend everybody to go and, and learn what is it. And, uh, and then uh, in this way, we will be able to take this product to every person, every home, right? And stay in every home because we will change people's minds in regards to nutrition and we will not be another diet. I don't want to be another diet, another temporary solution for people with the idea how much is it and, and when it's over. Okay, I don't want to be there. I want to be in their places forever and then to join us at least as messengers of good nutrition and, and fixing people uh, uh, nutrition. And nutrition starts, you remember, every day in the morning. And that's the whole story. That's why uh, breakfast. I will talk to you now how I talk to people. I will tell you how I talk to people now. Then this is funny part. Yeah. Fun is back to business. All right. Okay, this is now, that's a first disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. People, everybody who starts doing this, they claim that fun is back to business because they used to work hard to get customers, they used to work hard to get distributors. And now I, I'm not saying they don't work hard or we don't need to work hard, but it became now fun. It's really funny to talk to people and turn every conversation into something uh, very friendly. Every, even with people who are, you know, sometimes negative or skeptic. Everything in just seconds becoming very positive and funny conversation. And I'll give you now a few examples on, on how we start, how we continue, how we uh, strike conversations, and how we... Um, continue conversation, how we make appointment, how we sell products, and how we, what we do next with customers. Because many of them show up in the next week HOM. And this is a very interesting part. So let's start. First, we need to uh, know how to strike conversation, right? We can do it in every situation, every DMO, every method of, of work. Right, we said, no matter what we do, uh, we can do it uh, with people we know. We can do with people we see around. We can strike any conversation with strangers. I'll tell you how. We can call our old customers, those who are not active anymore, right? Especially all distributors, they have lists of customers, old customers, right? We have lists of all distributors who are not active. And now it's a time to get back to them, to all of them. We have those who are dealing with total plan. They have many referrals and a big number of the main part of this, main majority of these referrals are, ne are actually, they are not worked out, right? Yes. Are you agree with that? Mm -hmm. After a year or two doing total plan, people, they collect hundreds, sometimes thousands of referrals and they never go to these people. Sometimes they are not around. Some they chose not to go. Okay, different, uh, but now we have to address these lists again. Lists of people we know, old customers, old distributors, total plan referrals, and people we don't know. And now what we do? For those who we already know, old customers, old distributors, people we know, our old friends and lists of uh, our people, we call and say this. Of course, you start your conversation wherever you start. And then you get to the point. You say, you can't even imagine. This is your, this is your first sentence. Mm -hmm. Then they say, what? And they will all say, what? 
<laughs> Trust me. That's a, this is funny part is coming that everything is predictable now. You say, you can't even imagine. They say, what? Our company just came up with a new program of a healthy breakfast. They say, what? Or they say, what it is? <laughs> the choice is very simple. And then you say, I'll give you an example. What do you, for example, usually have for breakfast? Then they say, well, two toasts with the jam and coffee, <laughs> and you continue your conversation. We have the script, OK? We have a script, a particular script of what to do, how to continue conversation. And I will later on, it will be available for everybody. We will send everybody in, 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 in a few days. So, and then you just continue. You just read the script over the phone. So you call your old people, and then in, if they say, are you still with Herbalife? <laughs> <laughs> you say, you can't even imagine. <laughs> they say, what? <laughs> you say, let me tell you. Our company just came up with a new incredible program of a healthy breakfast. They say what it is. You say, oh, let me explain to you. What do you, for example, have for breakfast every day? They say two toasts with the jam and coffee. You say, great. And then you go through the script. OK? And, and some people who are negative or skeptics, they say, yeah, I don't like this, you know, this, this shakes, right? The shakes and pills and tablets, I really hate <laughs> shakes and tablets. I normally do the same type of face. I say, you are right. I used to argue, you know. <laughs> used to say, no, shakes and tablets, this is great. Today, I agree with everything they say. They say, shakes and tablets, I hate. I say, I'm really myself suspicious about shakes and tablets <laughs> myself. I agree with you, definitely. I know some, some powders and, and some tablets which are not good. I agree with you, definitely. But um, may I ask you a question? They say, yes, go on. Go ahead. I say, what do you normally have for breakfast? <laughs> you remember, I agree with everything they say. Some people say, Herbalife? Never. I say, you're right. Can I ask you a question? They say, yes. <laughs> what do you normally have for breakfast? Because I don't want to argue about Herbalife. I don't want to argue about powders and tablets. I don't want to argue about their opinion on opinions on weight loss and diets. Because I am not strong there. They have opinions. You remember? And sometimes, in many cases, they trust someone else, not me. Why should I break my heart <laughs> to argue with them? No, I agree with everything they say. My job is just to ask the relevant question and take them to my field to play my, my game. My game. OK, they want to, to talk. They want to give me my, their opinions. They want to, me to play their game. No, I'm not going to play their game. I don't understand anything in basketball. I'm a football player. I will take them to my game and my field. OK, and they have no opinion about what I'm saying. No opinion whatsoever. Because I have scientifically supported simple concept which explains them why they have trouble with health and weight. That's it. That's why I'm so happy, and that's why it's so funny now. Because I agree. They say I hate, I hate powders and tablets. I say I hate it myself. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> but tell me one thing. What do you normally have for breakfast? And then I do the circle, explain everything, come to the point, and then say, and then they say, how can I get it? But they say, but you said, I say, but you said you hate it. They say, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I can't continue the, the way I did. Mm -hmm. After the five minutes of explanation, they say, wow, how can I get this breakfast? I say, but you said you don't want Herbalife. They say, I do, I do want now. <laughs> Everybody. Every single conversation, we turn from negative to positive in five minutes. You can just count. You go through the script, and you count. In five minutes, they say, wow. Our distributors now sell to people those who didn't want to buy products for years. 
they put all relatives on product. You know those relatives who <laughs> for years said, no, 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 no. Your neighbors who for years said, ah, Herbalife. <laughs> 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 for years, for years, <coughs> everybody around, there is no one who keep saying after this situation, they didn't want to lose weight, or they tried and, they, and then they gave up, stopped, and you can't get these people back to products. Instead, you are looking for new ones. Go back to old ones. Tell them the story. You remember how you start your story? You can't even imagine. They say, what? Our company came up with a new program. Now, this is just unbelievable. They say, what is it? You say, what do you normally? Let me explain to you. Tell me one thing. What do you normally have for breakfast? What have you had for breakfast today, yesterday? And then they tell you, then they, then you go through the script. So I just want to give you, you remember my, my point was that everything is fine? Herbalife, powders, price. Some people say it's too expensive. I say, I agree with you. Can I ask you a question? I say, yes, go ahead. I say, what do you normally have for breakfast? And then we discover another one for a dollar and a half, right? But that's not a problem now. The money is not a problem now because awareness is here now. Who cares how much is it? I just don't want to continue this kind of lifestyle, this kind of nutrition. I'll, I'll, I'll get sick, overweight and sick. That's the choice now. The choice is between right breakfast, and I don't know many on the market. I just know one. I can't come and say you can buy toothpaste from a, a variety of companies, right? Or any other product you can buy from different, but I don't know any other breakfast. I just don't know. If you know the same great breakfast with the same kind of results, just tell me. Tell me, and then I will say, great. And then I will ask you the same question. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just want to give you a few examples of how I when I started these conversations and it, I put it as a script, I did it, uh, I did it personally and I keep going every day. This is my recruiting pitch and this is my sales pitch. It's the same speech, pitch for recruiting and retail, by the way. It's another very interesting, it's another universal component. You see, same pitch for, 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 for recruiting and retailing and you will see it now. So I'm coming to my dentist, annual check. And I haven't seen the guy for a year. I'm coming every year to check my, <laughs> my tools. Um, and then the guy, every year, he, he never wanted to use products. And I'm, he's my dentist for 10 years, right? And never used the products. And every time I'm coming, he's saying the same thing. He says, Leon, you look great, younger and younger, younger and younger each time I see you, he says. Every time he says it. Probably he says it to everybody. <laughs> I think. So I always said, oh, thank you. Yes, it's because of Herbalife. Yes. And it was a joke, you know, and he said, yes, it's because of Herbalife and blah, blah, blah. And it was kind of joke. And now I say, my reaction was, I say, no wonder. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> What do, you usually, what do you usually have for breakfast? You. And he says, well, I have uh, toast and the coffee and the sugar and blah, blah, blah. And then I continue my script, which I didn't tell you yet. And in five minutes, he says, how can I get it? <laughs> 10 years, once a year, same idea. He's not overweight. I would never pitch weight loss. Nutri nutrition doesn't work. He's a doctor, very smart, and thinks himself that he's <laughs> smarter than he is probably. In, I mean, from this particular point of view. Uh, the next situation. Uh, this is parents meeting in, in our school. The lady is, uh, her name is Emily. And we just, by the way, we just opened nutrition club in our area. And this is great reason to strike conversation. This is one of the best. You come and say, Emily, how are you? Just wanted to tell you that we are planning to open a good nu a, a nutrition club in our area. And then she says, oh, great. What is it exactly? She says, I say, of course. Let me explain to you. 
can I ask you a question? Just to explain, to be able to explain, to give you an example? She says, yes, of course. What do you normally have for breakfast? You, you, you see, I started with Nutrition Club. Nutrition Club is not here yet. It doesn't exist yet. But I'm saying we are planning. We are about to open a Nutrition Club in this area. She says, what is it? I say, no problem. Let me explain to you. I just want to give you an example. What do you, for example, have for breakfast every day? After five minutes, she says, I want it. With Nutrition Club or without Nutrition Club. <laughs> nutrition Club was a reason to start conversation. We really we were, we were about to open. So the next one, at the same meeting, same uh, meeting, another lady, her name is Julie, and um, Julie is smoking. I'm coming to talk. I say, Julie, how are you? How are you? I know her for many years. And then she says, uh, great. And she's smoking. I say, how many cigarettes do you smoke a day? She says, um, a pack. I say, you know, Julie, I used to smoke as well. I was a heavy smoker, by the way, when I was in, when I was in the army. So I was smoking for like five years or something. Or more. And then I say, you know what? I, I, I used to smoke as well, but uh, when, I, my, when I changed my nutrition, it really helped me to change my somehow nu habits, nutritional habits uh, have, have changed, and, and it helped me to quit, to give up my, my smoking. And, um, and this is really helpful. Uh, by the way, what do you normally have for breakfast? <laughs> you know, nobody is is asking me back, why do you ask me this question? <laughs> Nobody. She just goes, and she said, I don't eat anything, just smoke, drink coffee, and go. And then, and then I continue with my script. I have a few more questions to ask. And then I say, and then what? It's the it's next question. <laughs> Very complicated question. Yeah. And then what? And she says, and then um, at 12 o'clock, I'm, I'm getting crazy. At 1 o'clock, I start eating. My lunch is between 1 and 7 p.m. <laughs> Not kidding. Really? At 2 p.m., I lose myself, and I need to sleep. I lose myself. I need to sleep. I sleep for one hour, and then wake up and continue to eat until 7 o'clock p.m. She eats once a day, between 1 and 7 all, t all the time. <laughs> and then she's overweight, and she's depressed. Everything is bad. She doesn't sleep at night. She's lo lots of problems. She's not working because she can, many, many problems. In one week, we just changed this person entirely, completely. It became a new person in just one week. She didn't want, uh, and she was carbs addicted completely. She was just eating carbs, <coughs> carbs, 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 carbs. And we just changed this person in just one week. And uh, after one week, she brought all her friends just brought, just forced, just came with friends. <laughs> I didn't ask her to do it. Mm -hmm. she, she just got them, drive them crazy. <laughs> it's, I never seen this kind of behavior. So another one in the uh, elevator. This is a, a guy who is, uh, I know him for many years, overweight, big, didn't want to lose weight, made fun of me and, and Herbalife, all right? So, and then I just meet him again and I say, hey, David. So, and I ask him all the time, same question. And uh, the question was, uh, so when do, we st when do we start losing weight? It was my always uh, the question. And, now, and, I say, and then I say the same thing. I ask him when. And then he says, you know what? Diets just don't work for me because I eat with my eyes. It, was, it came from him, the... the, the this question, this uh, statement. I eat, I eat everything I see, I eat, he says. In the elevator, I have 30 seconds. That's it. No time. I always meet him in the elevator. I always have only 30 seconds, and then it never worked. No arguments. The arguments was, let's lose weight. And he says, I don't believe in it, because I eat with my eyes. You, you can't change my eyes. Always was the, the joke. He said, no, I'm not ophthalmologist. That's true. And now I say, I say, that's right. I say, this is really difficult. That's true. But it's nothing to do with your eyes, I say. He said, so what is the, what is, 
To do with what? I say, it's, it's about pancreas. He says, what? He said, let me explain to you. What do you normally have for breakfast? <laughs> and then the elevator is coming to a ground floor. We leave the elevator, and he is listening to me like never before. And then we have conversation. And after five minutes, he says, how can I buy it? The one who, he's, we were 12 years together in the same building, 12 years of joking, you know, jokes and things. So next one, we invite people to nutrition club. We used to invite people to nutrition club saying, hello, we just opened nutrition club and wanted to invite you to nutrition club. And some people say yes. And out of 10 conversations, we used to have two positive, eight negative. Not negative in terms of what we do, but negative in terms of we don't want to come. We are not from here. We are busy. Thank you very much. Don't want. Because you talk when you talk to strangers, you have no choice. but or you knock the door and they say, you know, this is privacy and things. And not everyone you can have a, a good chemistry and invite immediately, one out of 10, when you talk to strangers. But when you go to invite people to nutrition club, but this is what you do. You talk to strangers in the neighborhood, right? Some, sometimes you know people, in most cases you don't. So we used to have this one out of 10, now we have 10 out of 10. You know what we do? We say hello. We just opened here nutrition club in, in this area. It's changed nutrition club business in our case. So we have more, many more people in nutrition clubs now, thanks to this kind of conversation. So we say, uh, excuse me, we just opened nutrition club in this area, and we would like to give you some more information about nutrition, right? And would like to invite you to our nutrition club. And then whatever they say, Let's say they say no. Nine out of ten say no, thank you very much, and go, right? And then we say, oh, if they say no, thank you, I say, all right, no problem. But can I ask you just one question for our statistics, please? <laughs> because we open a nutrition club in this area, and we would like just one question to open for our internal statistics. They say, okay, no problem, go ahead. I say, yeah, what do you normally have for breakfast? <laughs> they say, I have this and this, and then we continue. Script. Now we have, so you talk to a person, whether you invite them to the club immediately or after five minutes when they are already understand everything, or we just make appointment, we go and sell. But, but statistics completely different. Maybe it's not 10 out of 10, but it's not, but it's not one out of 10 now. It could be five out of 10. So it's four, five, six times better now than before. Next uh, example is, uh, if you do survey, sometimes people do survey, survey to, ex to invite people to the club or just to do survey to get leads. Mm -hmm. In some survey, people are positive and they are ready to talk to. In some people, some, sometimes not, right? Those who are not are now, they are positive now. Because when they, when they say no or I don't want to, to complete your survey or they in the survey they say no, I'm not interested, we say no problem. Can I ask just one question for our <laughs> internal statistics? They say, yeah, no problem. What do you normally have for breakfast? And then we continue conversation because it's never stopped. Once they answer first time, they are, you know, <laughs> that's right. They're in. I didn't see anyone who, after answering my question, stopped conversation. They all continue. Everybody continues. Because this is something new. Nobody asks them about their breakfast. You know? Even their mom, mama, and grandmama, <laughs> they can say, what did you eat? What do you eat? Do you eat? Do you, you know, those kind of Polish grandmother? <laughs> so what do you eat? What did you, did you eat? You had, you, you know, in the party, I came back late or so. Did you eat? You know, this kind of. So, but nobody asks a question, what did you eat for breakfast? Nobody. First time in their life, someone asked them a question, what do you have for breakfast? What do you eat for breakfast? Do you eat your breakfast at all? Nobody. I'm the first time in their life coming into their, in their, to their life to ask the question and to bring the solution. Can you imagine? And everybody's talking because they all understand that I'm leading to some kind of, Im of important information for them. So next, that's why all negative answers are good. 
we don't have any negative conversations anymore. We can count on each of, e every one of them, or almost every one of them. I'm not saying that you will have 100%, but this is very close to 100% now. And for including distributors who had difficulties in selling and recruiting. No difficulties for those who had difficulties in selling and recruiting anymore. Because they just say what they feel. And what people associate themselves immediately, I'll tell you why and how in a minute. So another one, uh, one person said, Herbalife, never. I say, I see, no problem. But can I ask you a question? Yeah. <laughs> what do you normally have for breakfast? And they go, and after five minutes, they say, how can I get it? But I, you said you hate Herbalife. He said, I don't care. Another one I'm just getting uh, in the shop. Three people behind the counter. And I say, guys, we're just open nutrition club right here. And we would like to invite you there uh, so you would learn how to eat right. They say, oh, what is it? And then I say, let me explain to you. Where do you have your breakfast? At home or at work? A new one. <laughs> A new question. Where do you normally usually have your breakfast? Do you eat at home? Do you have your breakfast? Do you eat at home or at work? And they say something. OK? Who cares what they say? At home? <laughs> <laughs> and then and they say something. And then I say, so what do you eat <laughs> for breakfast? <laughs> That's it. Where do you have your breakfast? At home or at work? They say, at home, at work. OK. So what do you have for breakfast then? That's it. Because many people, you know, some, especially people who work somewhere, working people, some of them do it at home, some of them, because of they leave their home, their place is very early, they find themselves in the place with no any access to normal food, only fast food and junk around. OK? And many other situations, another one like at the end of the school year party, there is a, a many all kinds of foods and lots of cakes, and one lady is uh, is uh, eating a cake, and there are like 20 different cakes, right? And then I come and say, um, is it a good one? She says, uh, um, yeah, no, no, she says, oh, this one is the best. It means that she's tried already all of them, <laughs> right? I say, look, this is, you, I mean, this is easy to gain weight like this way. She says, I have nothing to lose, she says. Diets don't work, or something like that. And then I say, of course, this is not. Uh, it's not easy to go diet after. And she, she said, I, I, I did many diets, and I'm frustrated and lost belief in herself. And I say, of course, it's not easy to diet. Right. But what do you normally have for breakfast? <laughs> and then she continued, if I would come with my previous idea, let me help you to lose weight, I would get a slap. And I got it many times. And, uh, and you know, when people get negative reactions, distributors, they develop kind of fear. And they, they tend not to ask, and not to come to strangers, and not to talk, and not to help, you see? Because of fear of negative reaction. And this is very strong. This is, now we don't have it anymore. Distributors are all, they, they want to talk. They just want the question. They have this question, which is, before they go, this question goes before them. <laughs> and just, just like this, just waiting to be asked. You know, you, people around, they just, um, people are everywhere. And once you start dealing with the breakfast idea, you want to ask everybody, what do they have for breakfast? And then you see people going and you see, what, what interesting, what do they have for breakfast? Statistically, I know what do they normally have, but, but what about this particular person? What about this one? And then you talk to someone, and you weigh this first sentence, second, third. But the question is here, ready to go. OK, you can talk. I mean, you can talk normal talk. But sooner or later, it will go. <laughs> Boom, it could be first sentence. It could be second. Sometimes it's second. <laughs> My soul is clean. It's not every time the first one. I'm not stopping people on the street. Excuse me. 
What do you have for breakfast? Of course not. This is not nice. You need to squeeze one sentence in between. So how do I continue? OK? We all understand that this is easy to ask the question. Yeah. That's it in every situation, in every situation. If you want to, uh, uh, to, to initiate this and be the first to ask, you just call people you already know, your old customers, old distributors, everybody. And you come and say, you can't even imagine. They say, what? We just came up with the new program of healthy breakfast. They say, what is it? I say, let me just explain to you. What do you normally have for breakfast? And then they tell you, and then you continue. Now, what do you continue? You ask more questions. OK, so and then you say, they tell you about two toasts and the gym, right? You say, OK, OK. And then what? And then how you continue? And they, um, Another question about breakfast I ask before we continue, right? And I say, what do you drink? I want to know what do they drink. This is very important. Normally, people drink coffee instead of water. I say, OK. I don't say that you are wrong or your breakfast is wrong. By the way, you don't say it. You never say that this is not right. You do wrong. No, because this is people's choice. They don't know yet that this is wrong. That's why you need to, to explain the, the whole story. And then they say, wow, so my breakfast is wrong. They need to come to this conclusion. Okay? Otherwise, people become anti, right? So you say, uh, OK, and then what's next? How you continue? And then they say, um, 11 o'clock, I uh, eat this, I take that. I, OK. And um, how do you feel? How do you feel at 11 o'clock? Do you feel sometimes you know, lack of energy and you want to get some coffee? Does it happen to you? Does it happen to you? Oh, yes, yes. So people need to recognize themselves. When I ask questions, I want them to recognize themselves, to say, yes, this is exactly what happens to me. And then I say, OK, so you take this and you drink coffee and you take a little bit of donuts and things around. And then you get to. Uh, you, and then what do you drink, by the way? I drink some Coke, and I drink some juice, and then whatever they drink. I say, OK. And then you get to your, to your dinner. You see, the, the excitement is growing of the conversation. They continue. They just answer my questions. No one stops. I say, oh, really? And, so, and then we, we are coming to a lunch time, and so what do you have for lunch? Oh, lunch. Are you, are you getting hungry for lunch? Yes, of course. I'm already hungry. It's mo almost everybody is hungry by lunch time, mm -hmm. right? And why are they hungry? They just they've been eating all the day something, and now they are hungry. So they are hungry not for for food; they are hungry for sugar again. And uh, sometimes the stomach is empty, but in many cases, stomach is not empty. They've been eating something. Then they say, "Yes, I'm coming," and then I eat everything, everything. So and you don't control your appetite, right? You just want to eat, right? And they say, "Right." And once you eat, once you have your lunch, uh, do you feel again, you know, lack of energy? Sometimes you want to sleep, and I even show, I even show, how. <laughs> Does it happen to you this kind of, you know, after the lunch? And they say, yeah, this is exactly what happened. And then what what happens next? What do you keep, you know, what what do you uh, eat during the day afterwards? And they say, I take this. What do you take in between? If they don't, if they don't pay attention, that they eat all the time, you want to ask additional questions to identify what they have in between. Do you take this? Do you take this? How many coffee a day do you have? And so on. And then you get home. Uh, do you get home hungry? They say, yeah, I am coming home hungry. And so what do you, what do you eat? I eat this and this and this. What, and we have our uh, dinner with our family. And uh, I say, oh, great. And what do you drink? I drink this and this and that. Oh, great. And now tell me, does it happen to you that you had your, your dinner, right? And you keep eating. And you keep eating. Tele, TV, right? Or whatever circumstances are, but you keep taking things. Does it happen to you? Yes. How do you know? Or something like that. Or if they don't say, how do you know? I say, how did I know? 
<laughs> you see, once people recognize themselves, done. They are mine. And then I say, but you know, do you want to know why? Uh, by the way, before I go and explain what, what to do, I, I, I ask a few more questions. Tell me a few more. Can I ask you another question? One more? Yes. So what about your wife or husband? What, what does she uh, have for breakfast? And then they say, so I get some more information about family. And then I say the very important question, what your kids have for breakfast? And then you got the cereals, the toast with the jam or, or chocolate butter. You build the entire picture of their family, right? Nutritional habits. And now you have enough information this person recognized himself uh, in on those situations, right? Low energy, coffee dependence, eating after they finished their meal, keep eating. All those are signs of wrong nutritional habits, right? And if they're overweight, it's even easier for you. And then you can ask a few more questions. If you have, if conversation is, con is, is, is uh, it's continued, so you have a few more questions to ask. How do you feel during the day? Do you have those times of fatigue? You are tired? You have lack of energy? Yes. The, you want them to say yes a few times. This is very strategic, important thing. So they say yes. Do you have sometimes maybe headaches or something like that? Uh, yes. If yes, how often, right? How do you sleep during the night? They say, oh, I don't sleep at night. I, I wake up every other hour or something like that. And you can ask uh, questions like, uh, so energy. And, and you can ask, how about your stomach? OK. Um, is it fine? Work, work? Yeah, some people say it's fine. Some people say, yeah, I have some problems after I eat things. I have problems. And some people have constipation. Many people, by the way. Half of the population have some kind of constipation. So once you gather the information, now you can say, you can say, do you want to know why all this is happening to you? And when it, it starts all this, you know why it happens to you during the day? They say, why? Say, it's because of your breakfast. It's because of your breakfast. So if we continue the conversation, if circumstances allow me to continue, I continue. If not, I stop now and I say, it's because of your breakfast. But now I have no time. Give me a phone number. I'll call and explain to you exactly why. That's it. OK? So if I have con if conversation continued, because we have uh, time and situation allows us to do it, so I, now I'm going to my story. I say, George, I say, look, our body consists of 100 trillion cells. And these 100 trillion cells, they need 114 different nutrients during the day. So we are eating to feed ourselves. We need to feed 100 trillion cells. People, in most cases, they, they, they have no idea what 100 million means. So I usually even ask them, do you know what is it, 100 million? This kind of number, you know how many is it? They say, no. I said, this is 14 zeros. This is 1 and 14 zeros. This is big, big number of cells, and you need to feed them with nutrients, and they need 114 different nutrients, right? Everything you ate yesterday, I just go through my slides if you remember. Everything you ate yesterday gave you energy and nutrients to restore cells, to regenerate cells, organs, and tissues. This is what we do. During the day, we mostly spend energy. During the day, during the night, our body is busy restoring, regenerating, rebuilding itself, right? And so we spend when, we, when you wake up in the morning, you spend all your energy yesterday, all your nutrients during the night, and all your water. You spend over one liter of water during the night, breathing, sweating, and going to the restroom in the morning. Okay? Now you need to restore all those things to your body. Your body asks you, please give me back to what I just spent during the last 12 hours. And now we are coming to your breakfast. Breakfast in English means to break fast. OK, it means between 8 p.m. yesterday, you were supposed not to eat after 8 p.m., by the way, OK? And 8 a.m., which is half a day, right? This is 12 hours. 
Okay, you've been fasting. Now you need to restore, to give back nutrients to your body. Body used everything. Your body used everything now. Your cell used everything you, you, you need to, to give back. And now let's see what you give. You told me that you give two toasts with the jam and coffee with sugar. And this is what we call simple carbs, or carbs. People don't know what carbs, not carbs, probably. they don't understand. But you say this is carbs. Carbs is something which is immediately turns to be a sugar in, in, the, in the blood. So what you do in the morning, instead of giving so many nutrients which your body needs, you just give one nutrient, but a huge amount of one nutrient, which is sugar. You give sugar instead of nutrition to your cells. And then as a result, your sugar level goes up, and then you have this organ called pancreas, which starts to produce, as a result, to produce insulin, and insulin will be responsible to take sugar from, the, from your blood because this is very dangerous to have too much sugar in your blood. Have you heard those words called diabetes and all those problems? Yes. Or overweight? Yes. Everybody knows those words. Okay, so that's why our body doesn't want to have big amounts of sugar in our blood, circulating in our blood. So, so pancreas releases insulin to take it, to just eliminate sugar flow from the blood. And then as a, as a result, you have drop of sugar in your blood. And then you've, you feel lack of energy because your brain doesn't have enough sugar because our brain consumes sugar only. Okay, And now you are hungry. But you are not hungry exactly because your stomach is full. You just ate something, and now after half an hour, you have no energy, and you want to take something else. You want to drink coffee because you are lacking energy. Now you take something. Again, you send your, your, your uh, sugar up. Pancreas, the poor pancreas is, you wake up your pancreas. Don't wake up your pancreas. That's another motto, another slogan. <laughs> Don't wake your pancreas. <laughs> So you awake your pancreas and you enforce it to work uh, um, over time and over size and over whatever. Um, you put pressure on your pancreas. And of course, so pancreas again takes, insulin takes your sugar level down. And in, few, in an hour or something, you, take, you find yourself again in the same situation. And this is what you just told me, that from time to time you experience this Lack of energy, tiredness, and, uh, and the desire to take another coffee. And that's why you're becoming coffee addicted. Or some other things take you up, make you up, like, like Coke, and some sweet things immediately give you sugar back. So this is how it happens. That's why. And this is direct way to develop overweight condition, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and this is what proved scientifically. And this is what happens to your kids as well. This is what you give to your kids. This is how you start your, your wife and your kids start the way, your, your day same way. That's it. They say what to do. I say, your, let me tell you what the right breakfast is supposed to be. If they don't ask what to do or what is supposed to be, I say, let me tell you. So you, of course, you want to know right, what it's supposed to be the right breakfast. They say yes. I say it must meet four criteria. One is um, to give all nutrients to your body. Second, to give energy to your body, but not from sugar source. Three, to give back water. And four, to maintain sugar level in your blood, not to uh, increase and not to decrease sugar in your blood. These four criteria of uh, uh, a good breakfast. And then they say, how can I get this breakfast? We didn't talk about Herbalife yet, remember? At all. It's nothing to do with a product yet. It's about concept. Once they buy concept, they buy product. It's not an issue at all to buy product. That's why sales became very simple like, like this, because people buy concept now. And then, they, can I lose weight with that? Of course, everybody loses weight like crazy once you fix your, the, 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 the main cause. And main cause is proved scientifically. This is how you begin your day. This is how you continue your day. And this is breakfast. So how can I get this breakfast? I have this breakfast for you. 
our company just introduced to the marketplace a new concept of a healthy breakfast. And then you can start talking about products. Now, uh, so you take three, you give them products. Now it's time to give products. Aloe, tea, and shake. You give, explain what is it. And then you explain that this is protein-based energy. You get energy from protein. And, okay, and you maintain sugar in your blood. As a result, you don't start this. And you show this picture, you remember, with three charts, three different types of breakfast. If you show this, you say, so this will be your case. Now you are here, you will be here. That's it, it's done. Okay, no surges of sugar, no overweight. You don't gain weight. Vice versa, now your body needs to uh, use your fat to generate sugar back again. And this is how we lose weight, okay? And this will be your case. This will be your case, the third one, okay? This will be your case. So, and, and of course you lose weight, you feel much better, you control your appetite, uh, and all the rest will happen to you with no problem. You will never be tired, you will be very energetic during the day. Aloe does this, tea does this, and, uh, and shake does that, okay? This is how much is it for you per day, per month, how do you want to pay? If this is happens to me in my nutrition club, and I bring someone to nutrition club, this is how I start. I first I give aloe, and then I just can I explain what is it, and then I start asking questions again. I write everything down. Everything they tell me, I write, if it's not on the, on the street somewhere. Okay, so I write everything because I want to to tell them their story back. And then I give tea, and then we continue. Tea must be hot, so you will have another five minutes. So, <laughs> and then shake. Now, if I come to a person to his or her place, right, I come with my products. I have a few products with me in my bag. So I immediately give, make uh, aloe. I give aloe and to myself and himself. Or if this is the family to everybody, I explain this is aloe. This is it does A, B, C, D. And now let's talk. So they drink. They already have the breakfast during our presentation, during our talk, which lasts maybe 10, 15 minutes, the whole meeting. That's it. And um, everybody buys. No chance. They all buy. They all buy because they invited me to hear about. I already started. I already teased everything. You remember I asked all those questions and I started that everything starts with breakfast, but I have no time now, so let me explain to you. And they say, yeah, 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 let's, let's meet. So when I come, of course there is. Everything is clear. They, I, I, and I ask the whole family and neighbors and everybody to come. You bring everybody because we need to fix the, the, for the whole family. So, and then I give everybody hello, tea, in, except kids maybe, they don't need thermal tea, okay? And then the shake to everybody. And it's not important what time of the day it is. It could be evening, it could be day, morning, whatever. And I draw the, the, this chart. I used to draw it, now I just give the picture and I say, th this is the whole story. If they buy product, and they buy product, I give them a few of these pages. And I say, now, you start your program. I will follow you. You get results, you control your appetite, you get your energy up, you lose weight and in inches, and we will talk about other things which you just told me, right? And after a few days, I want you now to help your neighbors to fix their breakfasts. Yeah, I turn them immediately into distributors. I don't even ask them, do you want to make money? Do you want to become distributor in our company? No. Once you fix your breakfast, once you learn the, the, the real information, now I want you to help your neighbors and help your family and help your people you know. And they say, yeah, of course. And after three days, they say, yes, of course. We want to give it and we want to tell because I really, I can control my appetite now. I'm very energetic. I sleep at night much better. I, um, I lost some weight. I, I, I don't need this pizza. I don't, my, my hand, my this, my that. And they all, they all now pay attention to those things, to their eyes. They see it, but they don't need it anymore. And this is great. And then you can, you, so when they come and tell you this back to you, they say, yeah, this is, this is exactly how it works. 
And I say, it's now time to help more people. It's time to help your family. Then, yeah. <laughs> what do I need? And I give them these pages, and they go, and, they, and this is unbelievable. And the next question would come, do you want to make money when you help your people? They say, yeah, so this is distributor kit. You sign here, you pay me $79 or whatever it costs, right? And then afterwards, we explain them marketing plan. <laughs> now we have, I, I'll, I just gave John here a couple of examples. We have people who used to sell not more than five programs a month. Now they sell 40. People who never sold anything sell every day many. I took my Dune distributor. She asked me, what do I do? The, the, the lady which I told you, who came after a few days and said, I can do it myself. I said, no problem. You sign here. She still doesn't un, un, know the marketing plan. So she had, she sold in two, first two weeks, 2,500 volume points in two weeks. So she said, can I see how you do it still? Because I'm not very confident, even if I can do it. I said, no problem. You, you just. Take me to you to people you know. She, she made four calls. She said, you can't even imagine. <laughs> they say, what? I told her what to say. <laughs> they say, what? W I just started this uh, a breakfast program. You, you remember I was lacking energy, and I was this, and I was that. She is a very sport-oriented person. She was very tired. She wanted to do some better performance, to have better performance with sports, but she was, very, she was a kickboxer. Yeah, and so, and uh, for, for eight years. But so, and she's still, you know, training and not kickboxing, but uh, very active. And she, she was lacking energy. She said, I'm crazy. And, uh, energy is great. I'm finishing my training and I am not tired yet. I used to be, she used to be after half an hour, she used to be gone. Now she says, after two or three hours, I'm just warming up. So, and, um, and I feel great and I sleep better and I this better and that better and I lost four kilos and uh, everything is great. And I'm, I, I want to come and see you and tell about my new breakfast with, uh, with my partner, with my business partner. And they say, yeah, no, no problem. The she, people she knows, of course, she's excited. So she brought me there, two families and two individuals, 10 sales in four hours. I was doing this. But I was doing this exactly th through the script. I didn't say a word different from the, pay, from the, from the script. And after the, afterwards, she said, OK, you did it four times, we sold 10 programs. She made $250 at 30% discount in four, in, in four hours, OK? And she said, OK, OK. And I was the next day, at the same day, I was actually leaving abroad, OK? And then she just continued, continued to sell every day, a few programs every day. And now, in, in most cases, I mean, she had nothing to do with weight initially, with weight loss program, because she talked to just everybody, including her friends who are thin and sportive. With weight loss program, she would never come to these people. She would never put them in the list of people, the potential customers. But now it's for everybody. That's why we started and called it universal business and product approach. Same way with recruiting, by the way. And now we say we need people. We badly need people for our business. And, um, and say what your business is about. We say we are dealing with uh, in, in the field of nutrition. And uh, our company just introduced to the marketplace a new program of a healthy breakfast. So let me just explain to you what is it. So what do you, by the way, or <laughs> for example, have for breakfast? And just go. We sell the concept. They sign as a distributors immediately. We talked, we asked guests what do they have for breakfast. They explain to us, we give them the whole story, and they all sign. We have 100% signed now. When I say 100%, I don't exaggerate even. Two reasons for that. Number one, a big majority of guests are already customers. <laughs> and all those who are not yet, they're just astonished. You know, they just, they just, it, it's so, it's so, strong this concept and and um, and product testimonials are so great in the room and business testimonials are so hot and everyone is so excited and guests are excited because they are already customers those who are not yet they of course they at least they buy products mm -hmm. 
If they, some don't buy, don't sign, they at least buy products. But we have everybody who join, whether as a customers or distributors. So HOMs became different HOMs with such a big excitement that I never seen HOMs. HOMs was normally the, you know, the attempt to turn strangers who sit like that. <laughs> Another MLM, you know. And I'm telling you, and I made last month, and I this, and I uh, Who cares how much money I've made my la who, how much money we've made last month if we have product for everybody? Everybody in this country and every country needs this product every morning. Every single person needs. Do you have any other product which everyone needs and you can make such a big money? No one has, but once you understand that majority of them are already customers, it's not a problem, and you don't say, uh, we need people uh, or, or whatever. We, we just say, can you help us? Does anybody wants to help us to bring the same message, to get the same message across and to other people and help other people? Can you help us to help others? And because they are e already in, mm -hmm. they say, they, they no problem. Okay, just where to sign? Wow. It's becoming a different customers, different attitude. They behave as distributors before they become distributors. HOMs are completely different. Fun is back to business. Conversations are funny. No negative responses anymore because I don't accept them. I just don't accept them. Everything is became positive because I don't care what they say. I accept everyone. I accept every negative, every skeptical because I know the secret they don't. <laughs> That's the whole story. I know the secret about, about their breakfast. That's the story, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I wanted to share with you. I was never excited. I was excited. You remember? I am excited. But I was never excited before like now. And from my point of view, we have all method of operations are working together like crazy. Distributors are, are united again because we have one basic program for all methods of operations, for all for recruiting, retailing, for all types of recruiting and all types of retailing because people buy concept of a universally needed product in the marketplace. Thank you very much for your attention. All right.